Now, in July 2019, TV3 Mission aired a news item on twins James and John Tete, who had multiple disability and battled mental illness. The twins, who ate once a day, lived under deteriorating conditions and had been chained to a post for two years. Well, eight months on, there has been a drastic improvement in their well-being. They were in a terrible condition when the news team first met them. This compelled their 68-year-old grandmother, Cecilia Tete, to chain them to this pool for two years. After TV3 Mission aired the story, the Christian Health Association of Ghana, Die Hard Fan Club of Daddy Lumba, and a philanthropist came to the aid of the 19-year-old twins. A psychiatrist and nurse from the St. Martin de Porres Catholic Hospital at Agomanya was assigned to attend to them daily. They also promised to take the chains off. Eight months on, TV3 Mission returned to Odumasi Krobo for an update on their well-being. Their condition has improved thanks to the constant support from stakeholders in the mental health care. This place, they in chain, very aggressive. You dare not come near them. So, we thank God for now. Now, they can even come to the unit by themselves to take medication. Unlike first, where you can't, you can't come near them. Uh -huh. And the medication, the they are they are taking their medication. As a health professional, we uh, when we come around under a form of stigmatizations, so we also make sure that at least the grandmother will be reassured that um, everybody can suffer these kind of conditions. And we to um, pay the medication provided, we make sure that at least we educate the mother on the side effect, probably, definitely, there will be some kind of side effect of medication. So we all do this. Now, they cannot hear, and, and they can also talk. So we need a specialist on that field to, to assist us. Now, many people have come to say that, yes, a mental illness can be treated, because the way the boys were behaving first, first, you could see that they were screaming, they were very, very aggressive. Even there are times that they have even showed certain kind of aggressive towards their grandmother. But now, you can see that now everything is coming. Then people ask that, ah, is it magic? And tell them, no, it's not magic. It is just by taking a treatment. God bless a TV3, Daddy Lumba, Die Hard Fan, Chuck, the St. Martin's Hospital, and then the community psychiatric team as well. And then we want to plead, as my brother said, that we really want to beg so that um, the donations shouldn't stop. Their grandmother, speaking in tree, was grateful for the support. Jesus. <laughs> But when you come here, you must be my. I'm not here to sort it out. You must first know that you must sit down. You must achieve. You must try. You must try. You must try. You must try. But then, you must not run away from it. And you must not change. You must be. Meanwhile, a philanthropist who has promised to support their upkeep donated an undisclosed sum of money to them. Currently, they require a speech therapist and provisions to speed up their recovery. Porsche Gabo, TV3 News, Udumasi Krobo, Eastern Region. Indeed, TV3 Mission gets results. And as it's for Mission, Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thank you so much for your time.